Welcome to Miles of Music. I'm here with the international guitar icon, Gene Bertensini. How do you like that for a title, Gene? I love it. I love it. Nice don't, to see don't you. Don't change it, Bob. Good to see you. <laughs> well, it's on it's film nice now. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, you, so look nice. you look great. Nice to be here doing your yeah. thing again. Yeah, it's been some years. I mean, it's the second time you're on, but I think yeah. you were on about seven or eight years ago, possibly. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I'm one of my favorite guests, of course. Thank you. So you're in from New York today to do right. this. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. Anything new up in New York with you? I have a I have a, a concert coming up. I, I I don't know when this is going to be aired, but I'm playing a concert at this next week at the Jazz Standard with a string quartet. That's a new thing for me okay. and a bass player. Uh, the new album that's out has a, features a string quartet and and uh, other other gigs that happen around town. I'll be playing at the Blues Alley in Washington soon, and uh, I just did that and did an album with another great guitarist named Ronnie Ben Hur. I'm sure. For the Jazz Foundation, and uh, we're we're making some uh, some appearances here and there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Now you've worked with quite a uh, uh, legacy of great musicians, uh, household names. Can you name a few? Spick and Span. <laughs> Spick and Span, right? <laughs> Mr. Clean. <laughs> Well, I mean, I've worked with many singers, including Lena Horne and Tony Bennett. Recorded to with Tony Bennett a lot in the 70s. And uh, I did all of Burt Bacharach's recordings, most of them anyway. And uh, a wonderful album with Nancy Wilson that I'm really proud of and be a part of. And, and made appearances with, with a lot of singers, a lot of New York singers that are great singers. That, yeah. Uh, and uh, I played with uh, just about all the guitar players in the guitar community. Uh, most recently with uh, guys like Jack Wilkins and Howard Alden and Bucky Pizzarelli and Frank Vignola. And uh, did it, and uh, as I said, Ronnie Ben-Hur. I mean, I, I hate it. And uh, Paul Ballenbach. Sure. It, uh, a, lot of, a lot of times we guys get together at Bellarmine University as a guitar festival. and. And uh, I, I, I'm sure I left a lot of guys out that I love and, and I've played with. Uh, but, uh, and, and as far as uh, a nylon string guitar, I've had the pleasure of playing with one of, one of my, actually, I hate to say it, because he was so gifted anyway, but he was a former student of a guy named Paul Myers, is really one of the great guitar players of all time on this and yeah, on the electric guitar. Yeah. So and great solos, and uh, so I'm proud to say I've worked with him. And I've had a, I had a job up until last year, 18 years, oh. in a restaurant called La Madeleine, in, solo guitar. In uh, the village, you know, is that? No, west uh, 43rd Street. Okay. And a lot of guys used to come by and sit in. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a nice thing. Yeah, that's great, yeah. I look over and see, see musicians from the west coast sometimes came by, come, uh, and, uh, one day I looked over and it was Peter Erskine. And, oh my gosh, and, yeah, 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 great drummer, great yeah, drummer. Yeah, great drummer. Yeah, let's go hear you right now doing.